everybody, it's Christine the Haunt Girl, and today I'm talking about The Fortune Teller at Level Games in North Hollywood, California. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you don't miss any upcoming escape room reviews, haunted attraction walkthroughs, or anything else I do here on the channel. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for supporting the channel. It means a lot to me, and it does help the channel grow and get access to cooler stuff to use here for the channel. So, thank you. Uh, okay. This game is really, really fun. I wasn't sure what to expect. I didn't read much about it ahead of time. We kind of booked it on a whim and I was like, the fortune teller, it's close by, let's go check it out. And so we booked it and went and played it and they impressed us again. This is the same company that owns the doggy dog game, which is the game where you are basically a dog and you're going through and it's very good for like kids and families and stuff. It's a great game. They have a scary room there as well, which I also really, really enjoyed. But this is probably my favorite at the location because I really loved how well they told the story. They moved us through. It was so unique and different. It had a little bit of like game aspect to it, but it was also still an escape room. Um, it's not particularly large. So the space isn't that big. It's a two to five player game. It's a 75 minute game and I'm pretty sure it's ADA compliant, but always call and double check before you go to play. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was really, really cool. So you go in and you meet the fortune teller and it's a, it's a live actor in the room. So it's kind of an immersive live theater performance along with the game in that sense. So you've got an actor in the room and there's some game aspects of it where you can like earn coins and you can buy things with your coins and you can interact with this person who's part of your story, but you also have these puzzles to solve and you have limited time to do that. And then you get to move forward or maybe repeat things. It's, it's really cool. And there's a spinning wheel, which I love spinning wheels. I don't know why. I'm just like, what's it going to land on? Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what it is about spinning wheels that I like, but there's a wheel to spin. So yeah, I love that. Um, there were a lot more puzzles that we didn't actually get to do, even though we still felt like we were winning at the end. There was more that we could have accomplished. Um, there were only two of us. So we had a little bit of a disadvantage in the fact of getting through every single thing because there was only two of us. Um, if you have a group of five, you're more likely to get to see everything. However, try not to bring more than five people and try to sweet talk them in, because like I said, it's not very big. You don't want to cram people in there. Um, okay, so I want to show you a video of my husband interacting with the fortune teller. They were kind enough to let me uh, film, so here you go, it's a little clip. The star. Second, we have the Hierophant. And last we have, ah, the love is coming back around. Oh yeah. So much fun. We were really having a blast. And if you look around the room here, you can see, like I said, there's a lot of cool puzzles. There's no locks in like that general, like old fashioned sense of locks. Like you're not gonna be doing padlocks or directional locks or three digit codes, anything like that. Um, but it's still very reminiscent of those old school games that I really, really loved. Um, we all wanted the industry to move forward with us and like have the puzzles make sense in the story and be more immersive and, and that's great and I love those games too but every once in a while I'm kind of like man I miss those old school puzzle games where there's just a lot of stuff to do and lots of puzzles to solve and this has got kind of both the aspects of that it's not old-fashioned but it's reminiscent of old school games which I loved and it's also still modern and has tech and has lots of cool immersion and so it's kind of the best of both worlds. So I hope you'll go check it out. I really enjoyed it. If you have any other questions, um, I don't want to give puzzle spoilers, but if you have any other questions specifically about this game or other games I've played, hit me up on Instagram at The Haunt Girl. And um, also, if you're looking for room suggestions or coming to Los Angeles or any of the cities that I've played in, like um, New Orleans, Baton Rouge, Atlanta, New York, if you want to hit me up, I can do my best to give you suggestions for those cities as well at The Haunt Girl on Instagram and make sure you check out my blog at thehauntgirl.com. All right, well, thanks for watching and make sure you check the description below for a link to Level Games.